Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about Graph API, what actually the Graph API is and where does it exist within the M365 ecosystem. So guys, let's start our discussion. So guys, if you are attending this course, then I'm assuming that you must be aware about what actually the Microsoft 365 is. If you are not aware about, that is fine. I will give brief introduction about Microsoft 365. So guys, Microsoft 365 is a cloud-based product and it falls into the category of software as a service where you can use the services and you can pay for the services which you have used. And Microsoft 365 belongs to that particular category. And the products which belongs to the M365 suit that is bifurcated into many categories like personal productivity, communication, collaboration, storage, search and discovery, business apps. So all these are the product from the Microsoft 365. So let's look into a diagram that will give you much better clarity what are the products which belong to Microsoft 365. So guys this is some of the examples of the Microsoft 365 product. This diagram doesn't cover all the products but it covers some of the product information from Microsoft 365 and that belongs to different different category like there are certain product which is being used for personal productivity like calendar, contacts, OneNotes, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, all these are personal productivity which we usually use for our personal productivity. Now next categorization of M365 products are for the communication where we use the mail, Skype, SharePoint and there are certain products which we use for the collaboration and in that we generally use Yammer, SharePoint, Planner. Microsoft offers also for the storage services where you can use OneDrive and SharePoint for your need. So guys, all these are products which belongs to M365 umbrella. Now the question over here is, where does Graph API fits into in the entire ecosystem? So for this, I am going to give you one of the diagram that will help you to understand where the Graph API fits into M365 ecosystem. So guys, in our earlier diagram, we have seen the products that belongs to Microsoft 365 umbrella. Now all these products are hosted on the cloud. Now, if you want to grab the information from these resources, so how you will do that? We must need a mechanism by which you can access these resources and grab the information about these resources whenever needed. For example, if I'm working in the calendar and I want a custom application to grab my all the events from the calendar and accordingly I can use it within the other custom application. Same way, I want to grab the information from my planner. I can grab it from the planner product. So you will see it over here to design any kind of custom application where all the information which I want to use in a particular custom application. So how I will grab it. So, so this is the place where Graph API help us to grab the information from all these product which belongs to Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So guys, Microsoft Graph is a RESTful web API that enables you to access Microsoft Cloud Service resources and the benefit out of it we are getting is that it is a unified API endpoint for accessing data across Microsoft 365 which includes Office 365, Mobility, Security and Windows Services. There are many of the products which belongs to M365 Umbrella and all these resources you can access through a single endpoint. So to make you understand better, I am going to represent another diagram that helps you to understand what actually the Graph API is in the ecosystem of Microsoft 365. So guys, this is the another diagram of the Microsoft Graph where you can see that with the help of this particular endpoint that is HTTPS graph.microsoft.com with the help of this URL, you are able to access all the resources from the Microsoft 365, whether it is users, groups, SharePoint, Outlook, OneNote, Planner, Teams, Excel, Intune and many more. There are many of the products we have inside the Microsoft 365 and all the information you can easily access through the Graph API and behind the scene it is a rest it is a restful web API. It helps us to grab the information or post the information to the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So guys on this note I am stopping over here. In the next session we will look into what actually the Graph Explorer is and how we are going to use the graph and how we are going to use the graph explorer to design our graph query to access any of the resources which belongs to the microsoft 365 ecosystem so see you in the next session till then bye bye take care